and hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to the half diminished chord. So far we have met two chords that base on a major triad. This was the major seventh chord and the dominant seventh chord. The only difference between the dominant seventh chord and the major seventh chord was the seventh on top of the root note. We also met the minor seventh chord and the minor major seventh chord. Both chords base on a minor triad. Also here the difference is the seventh on top of the root note. Today we are going to meet one of the two chords that base on a diminished triad. In this case C diminished. The first of the two chords is called the half diminished chord or minor 7 flat 5 chord. The minor 7th flat 5 or half diminished chord bases on a diminished triad. On top of the root note we find a minor 7th. I notated two different chord symbols. The first one looks like this. The C indicates the root note, C. The M indicates minor, which means on the root note we are dealing with a minor third, C to E flat. The 7 indicates the minor 7th and the flat 5 indicates the interval between the root and the fifth, which is a diminished fifth. By the way, in chord symbols, every alteration of the chord tone goes last. So the flat 5 goes last because it's an altered fifth, an altered chord tone. So let's build a G minor 7 flat 5 or G half diminished chord. First of all, I filled up the chord tones. The root note is on a line, so all the other notes need to be on the line as well. And so we get the tone material we have to work with. So we need a minor third on top of the root note, G to B flat. I'll just indicate the B flat with a flat. Then we need a diminished fifth. At the moment we have a perfect fifth. G to D is a perfect fifth. We need to flatten the fifth. And we get the diminished triad. G, B flat, D flat. Minor third on minor third. From G to F we get a minor seventh. So this is perfect. In fact, this is it. This is the G minor 7 flat 5 chord, or G half diminished. Let's build A flat minor 7 flat 5, or A flat half diminished. I fill up the chord tones, space, 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 space. And between A flat and C, I need a minor third. At the moment, we have a major third, so I need to flatten the C. Now, from A flat to E, we find one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight semitones. That means at the moment we have an augmented fifth. Seven semitones would be a perfect fifth we've got 8. But we need a diminished fifth, so what to do? First of all, we need to flatten this note, the E, once to get a perfect fifth. 
and then we need to flatten it twice to get the diminished fifth. So we need an E double flat. All right, so how about our seventh? We need a minor seventh. At the moment, A flat to G, we find a major seventh. So we need to flatten the G. And here we go. This chord is an A flat minor 7 flat 5, or half diminished. And that's it for today.